All right, f of x is equal to two x minus seven over x. Find f inverse of x. This is symbol for in inverse, inverse, f inverse of x. Right. Okay, so let's do this. So we're gonna let f of x equal y. I'm gonna put a little let here. That's let you know. Let f of x equal y. So write back this y is equal to 2x minus 7 over x. That's the first step, right? Second step is interchange variables. The variables are x and y. So if I interchange variables, x is going to go anywhere y is and y is going to go anywhere x is. So I'll have something like this. Now, next step, make y the subject of the formula once again. Did I say second? This is the third step, right? One, two, three. So let's do this. Mm, how to make this y the subject of the formula? There are two y's, so let's bring this y up here x y is equal to 2 y minus 7 this is multiplying both sides by y this cancels and there will be a y there now so let's put him here let's bring this y across to meet his friend so he'll be x y take away 2 y is equal to negative 7 now we can factorize out the y the two y's are standing next to each other they're nice and proud we can pull him out y x minus 2 equal that same negative 7 and we can now bring down this bracket back across here by dividing so it's going to divide on this side x minus 2 that bracket was totally unnecessary right here I could just write x minus 2 all right so we not quite yet finished um, usually we want in, we don't want a negative sign looking so on the numerator so i can switch the negative sign on the denominator and do some fancy thing and get something that looking like this um seven and two minus x well don't hot up your head with that right you can just go ahead with this right so y is equal to negative seven x minus two so therefore put on a little therefore f inverse of x is that that's the answer F inverse of x is negative 7, x minus 2. Um, there's a problem, a little thing here we should probably state. x can be 2. If x is 2, you'll get 2 take away 2, you'll get 0, and 0 in the denominator is bad business. x is not equal to 2. If you have 0 in the denominator, put on your calculator and try to divide by 0 and tell me what's hap what happened here. Alright, so x can be 2, otherwise you'll end up dividing by 0. So, once again, let us have x equal y, interchange them variables, switch it up now, x and y switch up, and then make y the subject of the formula. This is how you do any inverse question CXC can bring at you. Any questions, leave it in the comments, I'll address it in my subsequent video.